Hi everybody, a really powerful evaluation point to make is the deadweight loss argument that a monopoly can cause. How do you construct that deadweight loss diagram? Well, we start by showing price, costs and revenue on the y-axis, so label it like that, and quantity on the x-axis. We then draw our revenue curves like we're used to. So average revenue which is equal to D, marginal revenue twice as steep. We then only need to draw one cost curve, and that's the marginal cost curve, okay? Uh, and you can draw this uh, from the y-axis like such. It doesn't have to be, but if you're being really pernickety, it just helps you work it out, okay? So drawing it like that, which is fun. We don't need an average cost on this one to help us uh, get to the deadweight loss. Next thing we need to do is to work out the profit maximization point, which occurs where MC equals MR, so put that on next. Call that QM, QM for monopoly, so that's the monopolist quantity, and call the price PM, which remember we read off the AR curve, AR is the price, so PM and QM. We also want to show on this the price and quantity a competitive firm would charge, and a competitive firm would be allocatively efficient, therefore would produce where price is equal to marginal cost. Where price equals marginal cost, it occurs there. Remember, price is average revenue, right? So where AR is equal to MC is here. And that gives us quantity in a competitive firm, or in a competitive market structure, and price in a competitive market structure. And this gives you the idea that a monopolist charges a much higher price and produces a much lower level of output. All right? Not good. But what we can do on this diagram is actually shade in an area of loss. And that area is this black, total black triangle. Okay, so that black triangle is the total loss to society, but we can split it up. This top triangle is a deadweight welfare loss of consumer surplus. Alright, and this bottom triangle is a deadweight welfare loss of producer surplus. I've explained why this occurs in a previous video, so have a look at that, it's in the description below if you want to look at it. But that's how you draw this diagram, that's how you construct it. Simple as that. Revenue curves first, simple marginal cost, show your monopolist price and quantity, your competitive firm price and quantity, and it's that little triangle that juts out perfect. Okay, that's how you construct this diagram, then all, obviously go through your checklist, have you labelled your axis, yes, have we labelled our curves? Yes. Have we put our equilibrium on and labelled those? Yes, we have. In which case, we are done. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.